Hey guys and welcome back to One Pretty Little Box. I am Sheila and I am so glad you're here today. And I'm going to tell you why. Because we're going to talk about a topic that has been brought to my attention and I thought I would just give my viewpoint on it. Okay? Um, here we go. Many people have asked if I believe, and I'm a believer, you guys know that I, I, do, I do believe in God and I do believe in Jesus. I am a Christian. Um, I've had a few people ask me, well, if I believe that, then how come I believe in posting and sharing and speaking affirmations? And I'm going to tell you why. Because as a man thinketh, he is. It's in scripture. Um, there's many scriptures on words that we use. Um, and the power that they have. Um, it talks about having faith of the size of a mustard seed and telling a mountain to move and it gets up and move. Those are all kind of leading to the same thing, you know, about what we choose to focus on and speak on comes to fruition. There is a true, a true thing in um, law of attraction, I guess, if that's what you want to say. Um, I do believe that we have to be very careful with what we say and we can bring in a lot, but we can also change a lot just by what we, comes out of our mouth. And so with that said, I was going to share my October affirmations. I kind of showed you that um, two days ago when I showed you my peak in my planner. So today I wanted to read them for you. And this is them. If you want to pause it and take a picture. I'm also going to add a picture of this in, in the end. Um, so that you can look at it a little bit better um, and you can adapt it to your circumstance. Okay, so I put I am. Um, you can put it in the center. I did not really want to do that. I kind of wanted to put it up a little bit, a little bit higher um, just because I wanted a little bit more writing room. Um, and I'm going to, what I do is I always say I am and I go to one. I am and I go to the another. And I continue until I read through them. My goal is to do these every day to remind myself who I am and where I'm going and maybe even who I want to become. But we don't become these things without already having that deep within. Um, if you want to, I can go deeper into affirmations and why people speak them and all that. Just leave a comment below. and Maybe that will be a video in the future. Um, but for today, I just wanted to share mine because I think that by sharing them, it may inspire you to make your own I am statements and start changing your own thinking. I have been doing this specifically for over a year now, and I can tell a difference in my life. And it has helped with my anxiety, like, tremendously. Oh, I see a little spider web I need to clean. Anyway, I am... Always receiving more than enough of everything I could possibly want, need, or even desire. I am earning more money than I ever have in my life. I am a creative genius. I am more beautiful than ever before. I am thin. I am loved. I am gaining new YouTube subs every day. I am a successful writer. I am understood. I am the healthiest I have ever been. I am loving the weather and the time I get to spend with my kids and my husband. I am allowing the universe to bless me in surprising and joyful ways. I am adding value to the lives of millions of people every single day. I am finding freedom in being my true genuine self. I am amazing. I am given opportunities to gain financial freedom while working from home on my own schedule. I am selling more copies of My Dirty Little Secret every day. I am me. I am seeing doors of media exposure opened easily and often for My Dirty Little Secret and the story that lies within. I am. I am. And when, you know, one of the things that we always tend to kind of focus on this time of year is when we get busy. Two, we tend to get overwhelmed. Three, a lot of finances change when school starts, um, our kids are in sports, you know how it is, the weather changes, so now all of a sudden, now you need to go out and buy school clothes again because the weather changed and nobody has clothes that is warm and fits. So 
that particular first one that I read is the most important to me because it grounds me and it reminds me that I am lacking for nothing in my life. I always receive more than I, more than enough of anything I could possibly want, need, or desire. And it's very true. And it comes in perfect timing every time. I could choose to stress over it, but it doesn't change the outcome. In fact, it makes it worse. It kind of delays the, the, delays the process a little bit. And I don't, I'm tired of that. I'm tired of doing that. So I am reading my I am statements every day. Those are my October affirmations. And I'm so glad I sat down to write them. I encourage you to sit down and start writing some of your own. If you need some help, leave a comment below. Send me a message. We'll talk through it. Um, maybe I can sit down and kind of walk you through how I choose these and how I write them out. Um, if that is a video you'd like to see, let me know. Um, and that's it for today. Lucky you. You guys got in a video in under 10 minutes. So, woohoo! All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.